Da Silva. I'm, I come from Portugal. I'm from the Coimbra University. I took my master's there. Now I'm working at MUST University in Macau. My name is Miloš Jakovljevic. I uh, come from Bosnia, but uh, currently I study in Slovenia at the University of Primorska, Faculty of Natural Sciences. My bachelor is in bioinformatics. Uh, second year currently. My name is Susan Jacko. I'm from Nepal. I'm a PhD student, uh, third year PhD student, uh, specializing in biochemistry. My name is Alejandro Romero. I come from Colombia. I study microbiology and I have a minor in bioinformatics in the University of Los Andes, which is located in Bogota. So today we learned mostly about how to do some DNA extraction with magnetic beads which was very insightful for me because I never did something like that before. So it was very helpful to understand how we can, how important it is to make some uh, extraction uh, with high quality DNA so it can be used uh, after in sequencing. Right now we're at the BGI group eggplant uh, greenhouse do doing some grafting. For me, it's actually bringing back memories like from childhood planting trees and grafting and doing things like that with my grandparents. Especially in this group environment, it's very uh, friendly and positive. In general, I think it's uh, nice to, to reconnect, let's say, with uh, nature and our roots and spend some time uh, with plants as well, not only in the lab or in the office. I was quite impressed like how busy I is trying to uh, look through health issues from all uh, perspectives. With the technique that BZI developed, we can just uh, take uh, a small amount of blood sample and check like does this baby have this uh, uh, genetic hereditary disease such as Down syndrome which can like have huge impact on the future. We had a round table in which uh, two PhD students and master's students came to talk about like campus life and what it's like to be a scientist here. Being a researcher here, it's a big privilege. You have a lot of uh, money which you can use to do your research and you have the opportunity to get to know yourself through that research as you have a lot of like independence and you have also uh, someone that's guiding you, your supervisor. So what stands out for me the most in BGI is uh, the way they use the scientific advance for doing sequencing and uh, the new and innovative technologies they have for doing it and also um, the way they promote this kind of uh, scientific work doing some uh, courses for young scientists to can, who come, can come here to actually um, have some practical activities. Every single day here has been mind-blowing in one way or the other. There hasn't been like a single day of rest where we can just say ah, we haven't seen anything new. Either it's the labs, the buildings, the project, the lifestyle. When you go out to the city, it's um, unfathomable to us what we're actually seeing. The BGI is collaborating with a lot of people and putting all the researcher together. Actually, before coming here, I heard about BGI, especially from the Human Genome Project work. And uh, I actually want to visit it. Through the summer school, when I was here, I was not uh, expecting like how big the facility here. Well, BGI for me, it's a huge company. I had read about it like different times back in Colombia. So it's really crazy to have the privilege of being here. Uh, this company, as we were seeing throughout the days, they have a lot of products, they have a lot of research, and they also have a lot of heart for the things they do. Despite I'm from Portugal, which is a very different uh, culturally, but uh, I'm adapting very good. I think people in general are very welcoming. I'm really liking um, liking uh, shine and living in here. It's a culture shock to say the least, but for me at least, it's a very positive one. It uh, made me actually reconsider my beliefs up to now and what I want to do and where in life. Um, it was more than I expected. I don't know, it's really crazy work. Thank you for letting me be here, letting me be part of you, even if it's just for a moment. And I wanted also to thank like, for all that research that you guys do in love for humanity itself.